What is up, my friends? It is your old pal, Closet Gamer, back again for some more Age of Engineering. We're down here with our monster spawner. Uh, it's working like a dream, I must say. Uh, we've got tons and tons of zombies being spawned. I've got the Enderman uh, switched off at the moment, so I'll put some more switches on here. Um, I'm going to turn the zombies off because it is really like draining my frame rate quite rapidly. Um, but I can switch on the Enderman. Uh, and the, I've put them on like separate channels on the redstone. Um, so that's pretty good. So this will just spawn Enderman uh, as as I need it. Um, I've got an attraction obelisk here. I'm going to turn that one off because that's dropping my frame rate as well. Um, I've got an attraction obelisk here um, with the uh, soul vials of Enderman and zombies loaded into it. So that will attract them. Uh, that's just made using the soul of an unsuspecting villager. Let's have a look at this. Look at all this junk. Jesus Christ. So much XP from this thing. And look how much I've got in here. I've got 75 levels worth um, which is pretty good actually um, I think we're going to need a lot of this we're going to need a lot of these uh, XP's because uh, we're going to make lots of dark armor today and uh, dark bows and we're going to make our staff of travel as well and we're going to empower them uh, so that's going to take lots and lots of XP uh, and also we're going to enchant them as well with a few bits and pieces so I'm thinking for my uh, for my bow I've got to put infinity on it that's for sure uh, I'm going to put flame on it as well, and then I'll probably put uh, power on it as well, which I'm not sure which one that is. This one here, power. Uh, so that's pretty good. Not too expensive. It's like flint and lapis. The most, probably the most expensive part is the uh, enchantment cost. The initial enchantment for the dark plate is using vibrant crystals, uh, which not too bad. I've got some emeralds. Traded some more emeralds with some villagers, uh, so that's pretty good. Um, on my prep list so far, so that's definitely off, isn't it? We'll leave all that off. I'll turn that off. So I've got this one rigged up to uh, turn this off as well because I don't want it just uh, draining RF for no good reason. Let's close that up. The uh, nether wart farm is working like a dream as well. Fully stacked up. I might put a buffer chest on there actually uh, because I was looking at some other recipes and nutrient distillation is very, very important uh, in the future. So thanks to Tsukuyumi again for your uh, excellent advice. I'm definitely going to put a bigger tank on there. Uh, and it's, um, I think you said that it will hold up to, I can use a mechanism dynamic tank which will hold up to 1,728 buckets. Which is pretty insane really. Um, so I'm going to put one of those, it's a 3x3x3 three by three by three structure. So it's um, quite big. But what I might do actually is instead of putting another um, spawner, uh, on this side, I might just have a big tank of nutrient distillation on there, and maybe have a um, a two by two uh, spawner set up for other spawners for blazers and thing. But that's not for today, because today we're going to go for the end. So I've put a little chest here, and this is our little uh, preparation chest uh, for the end. So I've got some glass bottles in here. I've got uh, an APS backpack, so I'm going to catch some bees while I'm over there. But I'll do that off cam because I know many people are adverse to watching me catch bees. I understand. Uh, so that's cool. Um, right, so first things first is we're going to chuck a whole stack of uh, coal dust and iron and obsidian into here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to chuck half in each. Right, let's get this out of there. And that in there. And then... Oh, not like that. And that one in there. And then I'm going to do the same over here. And that's going to make us a whole stack of... Is it? You doing it? Yeah, it is. It's going to make us a whole stack of dark steel because we're going to need loads and loads and loads of it. So that will cook. Uh, and then I've got no leather to make these books, but uh, I was looking at how to make leather in the old uh, in the old JEI. And apparently, if I do this and then go and hit this, it will turn half of it into leather. What the frig? Come on. All of it. I just run out of power. My god, it's actually run out of power. I don't bloody believe it. Oh, we'll have to give it some coal. I mean, that's not done bad, has it, really? I mean, I chucked, like, a few bits of coal in there before, a while ago, and it's finally run out of power. Can I put power on this? Let me see about this. Let me grab a connector and some wire. Will you let me power you? That is what I want to know. Now where can I put it? On the front? If I put it on the front, is it going to block the laser? Oh, it is getting power. Why didn't I do that earlier? I mean, I could have done that earlier. 
Right, let's do this. Nice. Okay, well, that'll be enough leather, anyway. I'm not going to make leather trousers, anyway. I'm just going to make normal trousers. Uh, right, where can we put this stuff? Uh, let's put it there. Right, so, our dark steel is cooking nicely. Let's have a look at the old staff of travel, as well. Staff of travelling. I just want to make a normal staff of travelling, thank you very much. Two dark steel and an ender crystal. Uh, an ender crystal is an enderman's soul uh, and a vibrant crystal. So I think I can make a vibrant crystal because I've got enough of this stuff. Uh, nine of those. Uh, and then an emerald, I think it is. And then let's see about that. So this, like that. Oh, it's not nine, is it? It's eight. Vibrant crystal, nice. And then I wonder if I've got an enderman soul. Creeper, enderman, yes, nice. Right, okay. In here? In there. Yeah, she's my XP, that's fine. Right, that's going to cook that one up. Just two dark steel. Right, so let's grab two of those out of there. Alright, let's grab three. Right, done. Done, nice, okay. Starve O Travel. So I saw a video about how to use this actually, and it looks pretty freaking nifty. I must say. So it's charging up. Nice. And then I think it's just what? Shift? Nice. Look at this. <laughs> Woo! I think I whizzed into the wall. Oh man, amazing. Whoa! That is freaking sweet. Back into the basement. Oh! Fantastic. Right, now, uh, in order to empower this thing, uh, I need to get another vibrant crystal and put it in the old, uh, put it in the old anvil, don't I? Uh, but it's not going to be the only uh, vibrant crystal that I'm going to make. So we need one for each one of our bits of armor, so that's four. One for our bow and then one for this, so I'm going to need six altogether. So that's going to be one ingot per item, so that is what, six gold? Six gold and then uh, I've got some glowstone. Is that going to be enough glowstone? How much is that? Six glowstone, nice. Oh, I've got eight. Uh, and then six redstone. Nice. Uh, and then I need some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Another one. Nice. Okay. Any of these done? Right, let's move these over for the moment. Okay, let's pop these guys in. Oh, I've got glows of glowstone there already. Like that. And then like that. That's doing that. Right, let's bung these back in here. Like a seal. They'll go in there. Right, getting loads of dark steel, that's good. So these should start cooking up our energetic alloys. Right, we'll leave that to run for a little while. Um, I'm going to make some books. So I need to make some paper. I'm going to have to make it out of rice, I think. Right, let's make those. So eight of those guys. Oh, Christ, they're separate. Right, okay. Uh, so flame. Oh, I need to make it in an enchanter. Um, right, okay, well, we can do that. Let's bung some stuff back. Nice, okay, and then let's go two diamonds, and then the dark steel, and then just a normal book. Okay, let's grab some more dark steel from over here. Actually, where did that dark steel go? It's 15 or so in there. Nice, right, okay. Enchanter. What say you? You say yes. Excellent, you can go next to the anvil. Cool, we also need to make a potion thing as well. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to make that now. So it's just cobblestone, any cobblestone, and a blaze rod. Now, I've actually ground all my blaze rods up. Oh, no, I didn't. I've got one there. Sweet. Uh, and then some cobblestone. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and I need to get this brewing stand because I've got to make uh, swiftness for the old speed increase on our uh, leggings. So let me grab, like, nine of these. And then just make some simple potions. Uh, and this one uses nether wart. So it's going to be... I think I need like three nether wart. How many is that? Four. That'll do. What the fuck? What the fuck, spider? Oh. I forgot to tell you, actually. Do you see what's in my hand? It's... Dragon's End. That's right. I made myself a nice bone sword. So it's got fractured as, uh, as the perks from uh, Tinker's Construct. Fractured and sharpest, and I've put um, loads of uh, nether quartz on it to sharpen it up. It's got 16.94 attack damage compared to the Decapitatron, 
which is 10.72. This thing is insane, this sword. Uh, the durability is not the greatest on it. But it's still pretty crazy, um, if I'm honest. Right, so where did we put... Is this? Have we got anything with water in it? We must have some water around here somewhere. Come on, please. I know where some is. I know where I've got some water. In the old Gardon cloche. Let's put these in there. Nice. Three of those, and then that. And what else do you want? You need blaze powder for fuel, don't you? Yes. Let's get a few of those. Now we only need to make one, so... Why did that go? Where did you go? Why did you do that? Right, we can leave that in there, can't we? Nice, okay. Now, sugar. Do I have some sugar? That's salt. No sugar. Right, okay, well let's just grab some sugar cane from outside. It's been a long time since I've been out here. Crikey. Spent so much time indoors, just kind of mucking about with uh, machines and stuff. Don't get a chance to appreciate the great outdoors anymore. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Apart from that really noisy um, nether portal going on out there. Right, sugar. Nice. Right, okay. So, um, what's this? This done now? And then this, sugar. Ah, here we go. Potion of swiftness. Nice. It's done. Right, okay. So we only really need one. Um, I don't really need three. And I don't need all these other potions either. Um, but who knows? We might uh, we might use them at some stage. But I'll put those in there for the moment. Right. Okie dokie. Cool. Right. Uh, potion of swiftness. So we can use that once we've got our uh, leggings. Um, which I think we could probably make now, actually. So let's see about making the leggings first. Leggings. Nice. Dark leggings. And then dark boots. Nice. Dark boots. Uh, and then we need dark chest as well. So let's grab that. This is called dark plate, isn't it? Dark plate. Uh, and then dark helmet. Can we make that? Right, we've got these. So let's grab those out of there. Let's put those in there. Now our six ender pearls that we just put back. Okie dokie. They can go in there. Nice. That'll be cooking up those. This is doing. Uh, we haven't got enough for our helmet yet, but we can uh, wait for our things or we can start making up our books. So for our infinity, we need an ender pearl and then lapis. Okay, we could do that. Uh, how many lapis was it? Let's just grab a stack for the moment. So it's this, this, and this. I think that one goes there. Nice! So that's going to give us infinity on our bow. Now, what do we need for our bow? Right, skeletal contract contractor. So solarium, rotten flesh, and silicon. So solarium I've got. Silicon I think I've got. Have I got you silicon? Yes, I've got a silicon. I've also got a skeleton skull as well. I've got plenty of rotten flesh. So let's chuck that in the old slice and splice. Nice, that'll cook. Uh, and then it's a string and nutritious stick. Uh, so I need nutrient distillation and a stick. Right, so I've got nutrient distillation, haven't I? So grab a couple of sticks from here, like that. Uh, and then, what was it, like this? And then like that, nutritious sticks. Nice, cool. Right, let's go and put our tank back. Oh, I forgot what I'm doing, look. Nice. Got my super whizzy stick and it's not even actually, I'm not even actually using it to whiz about with. Right, is that going in? It's going out. It's going out, good, right, okay. Up we go. Up we go. Nice. Oh, I need to get used to using it. Uh, right, where was I? Uh, these done? Nice, vibrant alloys. So let's grab another, oh, I'm running low on emeralds already. Mm, this could be this could be a bit tricky. All right, let's chuck this egg away. Give some string like that. And now, can we make our bow? No, because we haven't got our skeleton head. 
So maybe the idea behind this, this skeletal contra contractor, is that the old um, the old skeleton is helping us shoot our arrows, maybe. Dark bow, nice. Okay, right, so. Uh, let's turn these into alloy nuggets. Let's grab these alloy nuggets as well. Let's grab our emeralds. Let's turn these into vibrant alloy nuggets. I may have to go and visit the uh, village again fairly soon because this is looking a bit shit in terms of our situation here. Right, so let's say to you, dark boots, go. Just one. Nice, they're enchanted now. Uh, and then the leggings. Nice. And then the chest. And then finally, our lovely bow. Our anvil just broke. Oh. Don't know what you're playing at, anvil. Didn't particularly appreciate that style, to be honest. Pow. Kind of put me off my stride. Right, so with our dark leggings done, um, we should be able to now say, give me this potion of swiftness and make me some swifty pants. Nice. Okay, so they've now got speed on them as well. Uh, and then if I get a piston and put it on these guys then that should give us jumping excellent okay cool um, so I'm going to power those up again but I'm going to do it once I've got my helm seal so, how many of these have I got and I've got enough for a helmet now let's grab these back uh, and then helmet where did it go went in there right let's put some stuff back nice right now let's put infinity on our bow that's what we were going to do wasn't it so infinity on there. Oh, I need some more XP. Okay. Let's go down to here. I'm going to have to put this upstairs, aren't I? Right, let's grab all of this XP. Level 75. I feel empowered. Wow. I don't think I've ever been level 75 before in Minecraft. Nice. Infinity bow. And then what else do we want? It Flame. So I need netherrack and lapis. So have I got enough lapis? I think I should have to get quite a lot. Right, lapis in, netherrack in, enchant book flame, nice. And then back to the old anvil. Bow, book, flame, nice. That'll set shit on fire. Uh, and then what about this one? So what was it? Power we wanted. Power five. So loads of flint. Right, let's go and grab some flint and we can put power five on this guy as well. I need more levels once again. So at least we'll clear out some of this excess XP, uh, solidified XP in here, uh, which we already have done. Right, let's switch to old mob farm on and get some more XP churning up in this thing. Otherwise we're going to be goosed. Right, so on our list, we've got our staff of traveling empowered. We've got our boots with uh, empowered one and jump. Uh, so let's put these on actually let's get rid of our old armor take all this junk off and uh, let's equip our new stuff nice 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 looking pretty swift let's chuck this old crap back in there right so i know that i need to uh, charge this stuff up and i will do that uh, in fact i'll do that right now so that can go in that one that one that one oh we need to empower our dark our dark helm as well right bow can go in there Nice. Looking good. Looking good on the stuff. Let's do this. First. Nice. And then get this charged up. Then I need to go make some capacitors for the next level of our uh, armor. Nice. We're fully charged. Right. Cool. Right. Let's make some caps. Uh, so we need another six caps. Which I might already have. How many have I got? I need some more enriched gold. Have I got what have I got going on over here? I've got twelve there. Twelve of those, that's good. And what's this short of short of copper? Right, okay, well we can put some copper in there, that's no problem. Put those in there. I need some more of these. I need some empowered redstone. Now I think I automated some redstone here actually. Using our system. How many? I've got five. Right. Let's grab those. Nice. I'm going to need tons of these, aren't I? Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to automate some empowering. I have to think of a way to do it. Uh, if you know a way of um, automating 
the old uh, Zapparuni, this thing. If you know of a way of empower, that was pretty cool. Did you see that? So that must act as a block. Neat. Um, so if you know of a way of um, automating that thing to drop something in front of it, trigger it, um, and then feed it into the empower, that will be really useful. So please um, let me know if you know a way to do that. Have I got any of this stuff? Uh, gold. No. Right. Okay. Let's grab some. Let's grab our normal calculator. Let's grab. A few gold, not that many, uh, and then some redstone. I'm just gonna make like ten of these, I think. So I've already got a couple. Yeah, I've got enough. Okay, right, calculator. Some of that, and some of that. Give us that. That's a lot of enriched gold, but I'm sure we'll use it anyway. Nice. Look how fast this thing is. That reminds me, actually, I need to make a piping system to get this all back to our chest. We'll probably do that next episode. I might do a little sorting system next episode. That would be pretty neat. Right, that goes in there. They go in there. So I can just take these as I need. Nice. So capacitors. So how many of these things am I going to need? So I'm going to need six for that. And then for a double layer capacitor, I'm going to need another two. So I'm going to need 15 of these guys. So how many is that that I've got? Seven. Okay, so I need some more of these copper electron tubes. Four more capacitors. Nice. So that's 15 in total. That's exactly what we need. Uh, now, I think the only thing we're going to be lacking is the XP for this. So let's take our armor off. Let's chuck uh, the boots in there first. Right, one of those. One of those. So that's six. And then the helm. And then the chest. And then the staff. Our yeah, rats. Out of XP. Right, okay. I'm going to have to go and um, switch on my mob farm again. Uh, I'll probably make the double layer capacitor as well off cam. Um, and stick them on and charge them up, etc, etc, etc. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, in the time that's passed, um, I've put uh, Empowered 3 on Dark Boots and Jump 3 on them. Um, I've also put my leggings as well up to uh, swiftness three, so another three potions on those. So they're done. That's as far as I want to take those now. Um, I've decided I'm going to uh, empower my uh, staff of traveling up to three as well. So I've got myself some more uh, redstone and crystal blocks. I'm going to chuck those in the crafting table to make some more capacitors. So they can go. Uh, actually, I need to break those first. They can go in there like so. Uh, now, have I got some more capacitors to go in there? Right, thickened glass. In you go. Right, I don't want to make too many of these things. So how many do I need? I need another... I've got one for that guy there. Two for this guy and another two for the chest. And then what's the bow on? The bow's done. Okay, bow's done. Nice. So that's it, I think. Is that it? I think that's it. I need one more capacitor. Nice. Right, okay. Let's see if I've got... I don't think I've got the levels for this. Jesus Christ, look how fast I'm running. I'm like, a fl I'm like Usain Bolt. Right, this one. And then that. Enchantment cost eight. Right, okay. Uh, so that's Dark Helm done. Let's put that in the uh, in the charger. In you go. That will charge up. How are we doing for XP? Forty six levels. Let's grab all of that. Right, and then we're going to turn that off because that is really lagging. Okay, let's empower the rest of our bits and pieces that like that and then that one and then finally the old Starfo travel nice so that will give it a charge of 250,000 RF so hopefully that will be enough we'll let those guys charge up how's this doing is it done yet that's done nice and then what other things can I get for this 
Sound Locator, Night Vision. That could be interesting. Solar One. So that'll probably charge stuff up when it's on the go. The One Probe and the APS Hat. Not really bothered about any of that stuff at the moment anyway. Um, APS Pants, not really bothered about that. Flippers, APS Shoes, not really bothered about those. What about this one? Uh, Elytra, I haven't got that yet. Glider Wings, yes, need Glider Wings. That was the other thing that I needed. Right, I'm going to make those now. So for what they can do, glider wings, um, they're not too expensive, to be honest. Um, you know, it's pretty much a slow form of the old elytra. Which is amazing, really. So let's make two of these. Uh, and one of these. Nice. So... I need to go down here and get this, because it's not charged up yet. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know why. Right, give me this on here so I remember to actually use it. Because people are going to start getting pissy with me soon if I don't start using these things that I've just spent all this experience on buying. Right, give me that. Put that in there. Glider wings, nice. Excellent, I look like Batman. Sweet, right, let's give these a go. Glider active, oh yes. Right, so this is going to be me in a few minutes time. Shooting my bow at the old dragon. Actually, let's test our bow. Why don't we go and find one of these chuckleheads? Death from above. I am the worst shot. I've got, I've got the creeper. Look at these chuckleheads all trying to, trying to get to me. Look. Nice. Right, two shot at a spider. That's pretty good. Oh man, I could get used to this. That is sweet. Cool, okay, right. So, where was we before we got completely distracted? Um, what else is on our list? Let's have a quick look. So, Dark Steel Armour and Glider Upgrade, done. Staff of Travel, done. Capacitor Upgrades, done. Nutrition Module, still need to do. Storage Bag of some kind, still need to do. Uh, bottles for Dragon Breath, got. Uh, standard tools, done. Plenty of food and cobblestone, not got yet. So, um, let's work on our bag next. So I'll be looking at these Bagginses bag, um, and I'll be looking at the Tier 3 one. And the Tier 3 one is uh, soulbound, which means that if I die, um, I don't lose my bag with all my stuff in it. So that's pretty good, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, so the initial one, the Tier 1, is just some wool and some string and a chest, um, and I don't think, have I got any? I'm going to have to make some wool out of some string. Let's grab this string uh, and knock up four pieces of wool, nice. Uh, and then let's grab a chest. I've got some chests, nice. One chest, perfect. Uh, and that should be a tier one, nice. Right, now uh, I'll make the soul bound bit. So I think, have I got, I've got all this stuff. I think I've got a gas tier. Yeah, I think I've got a gas tier, yeah. Yeah, two of those, nice. And then some diamonds, and then what else was it I needed? I think that's it, I think I've got everything that I need. Uh, a couple of heads as well, actually. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to use my um, my ones from down here, because I've got loads. This is a bit tricky to use, this thing. I'm going to need to, oh, I'm going to need to practice. <laughs> I need to practice getting used to this thing, it's a bit of an art form. Okay, right, loads of zombie heads in there, that's pretty good. Right, up we go, that was better. That was more diagonal that time across the house. And then oh, gliding along the floor. Lovely. I need to switch my glider off. Right, so let's make the upgrades. So wood, steel, and string, isn't it? So we can do that, no problem. Let's grab ourselves some steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then some wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. And I've got some string on me already. 
Right, so three bag upgrades. Three, not two. Three. Oh, and one steel short. Right, one more steel. Right, let's make the last one. Nice. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, they're in there. Everything keeps going in here. It's quite annoying. Right, just the one on there for the tier two. Right, that's a tier two. Then the tier three. That one, and then that one. And then the soulbound version is this one, and then that. Nice. So that's pretty good, isn't it? And I can put some decent. I'll put all my stuff in there that I really, really do not want to lose, uh, which is probably all the stuff that I'll be needing. But um, the bits uh, that I don't use every day, but I like to carry around with me. Um, so my bow maybe will go in there. I'm not sure. Right, let's put some junk back in there for the moment. Right, okay. So bag's done. Uh, nice. Top of the range white bag, and uh, we'll do it to pick up as well. So that will fill up with all of the stuff that we mine automatically. Uh, it's got quite a good range on it as well, apparently. So what's next to do? Right, so we've got our bottles. We've got our scoops as well for when we get there because I want to catch some ender bees while I'm there. Uh, plenty of food, cobblestone. We'll do that off cam. I'll get the food off cam. Last thing on the list is the old nutrition module. Now the old nutrition model is pretty nifty because you can just fill it up with food, um, so it doesn't take your food no longer takes up stuff in your inventory. Um, but what you need for it is an atomic calculator. Now I was looking at this, and I was looking at um, uh, this flawless assembly, which takes atomic stuff. Okay. Now the atomic stuff um, iridium, you make iridium in um, a molecular transformer. Now it's quite interesting because the molecular transformer itself, you need that to make iridium, um, but you also need iridium within here to make your first, um, to make your iridium making machine, which is pretty crazy. You know, you need to have iridium to make the iridium machine. So this one, um, you've got to get these from dungeon chests, eight to seventeen stacks in a dungeon chest. So when we go to uh, when we find our end portal, we have to keep an eye out for these iridium ores. We need to get at least enough to make four, because then we can make our molecular transformer for the atomic age. So that's important. We need to make sure we do that. We won't come back until we've got those. They're in dungeon chests, maybe in the end. They're also in dungeon chests, definitely around the end portal. So note to self, keep an eye out for those things. Um, so instead of a nutrition module, which I can't make because I haven't got any iridium, I'm just going to make a hunger module. It's pretty pretty similar and pretty easy to make actually. Um, so it's a large amethyst. I'm not sure if I've got any of those. I've got two. Um, I wonder if I can make them. So I can make them with a lapis block and that will give me two. So let's grab enough to make two of those. Right, okay. So 18 lapis. Right, so your old pal Columbo is just noticed that the um, amethyst needs to be made in a stone separator. Um, so <laughs> I've got to make one of those. So it's just uh, some uh, power cubes and stuff. So I'll make that off cam and I'll be back in a sec. Right, okay, I'm back. Now I've got the uh, stone separator set up. Uh, I've got my power sorted out on it. And I think I've got all the bits that I need. I also made the um, advanced assembly that I need for my um, thing. I'm just going to put these in there because it's going to make the small uh, amethyst that we need for the module itself. Um, but I think we've got everything we need to actually make the hunger processor. So that's pretty cool. So let's run over to our uh, crafting table. Hunger processor, are you good to go? Yes you are. Nice. Okay. Uh, so we need some power. So one connector. Running low on connectors but that's good because we're going to upgrade to uh, Ender IO connectors at some stage. Right. Connector. And where's my wire? There you are, wire on you pop. Nice, thank you very much. Let's hook this one up. In you go. Right, so the interface, um, I can just put food and stuff in there. And you can see it turns it into hunger points. So the hunger points will stay in there. Um, so I could maybe just have um, something being piped into there. But this is the little module itself. We need a golden apple for this. Um, I don't think I've actually got any apples, would you believe? So I'm going to have to go out and find one, but I won't take you with me. I'll go and, no, I definitely haven't got any. No, nope, not got any. Right, okay, um, I'm going to whiz outside and I'll be back in a little second after I've got an apple. Right, there's our apple, nice. Okay, let's make a golden apple. And 
Nice. Now, I think I should have everything I need now. Um, maybe I need another redstone ingot. In the old stone separate, in the old algorithm separate, I should say, sorry. Let's put one of those in there, uh, and then this guy should have made us these. Nice. And then we should have a calculator screen in here. Right, that's done. So that should be us done, I think. Is that us done? Nice. Hunger module. Excellent. Okay, so now if we put that in there, that will load all the hunger points into here. Then if we put this on our hotbar, we should be able to go shift and right click and it will feed us. And we can just load this up with loads and loads of food. So when we're getting, you know, trounced on by the dragon at all times, we can just uh, right click it and instead of having to sort of slow down and munch food, we can just do that and we'll be healed up. Right, so I'm going to cook up these food, I'm going to organise my inventory, um, I'm going to get everything else prepared that I need to get prepared, and then in the next episode, uh, we'll go to the end. So sorry, we didn't get to go to the end in this one, um, I spent a little bit more time preparing stuff than I thought I was going to, but that's okay, uh, it's all good, better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? When we do get to the end, um, there's a few bits and pieces that I need to do. Um, so I need to obviously kill the dragon, loot the heart, and collect the breath and the egg. Um, farm some of the fruit stuff, can't remember what it's called. Um, find an end fortress and find an elytra as well. Um, I also need to get some iridium uh, crystals and things uh, to make our first iridium plate. Uh, so that's plenty of stuff to do. I also need to collect some bees as well. And I think that's about it. If you can think of anything else that I'm missing that I need to do while I'm in the end that I haven't thought of, um, then please send me a message and let me know. But I will see you in the next episode where we will go to the end and kick the shit out of the Ender Dragon. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, and actually I apologise for any uh, drop in frame rate and stuff like that. I blame it completely on the Enderman farm going on downstairs, which is really bugging me. Um, I'll see if I can uh, maybe get some more RAM for my PC to fix it. Um, it is what it is. I'll turn it off when I can. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Please let me know what I'm doing wrong. Um, it will be much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we'll go to the end. Goodbye.